Hey everybody, it's Chris from The Happy Coin bringing you a video today about 90% silver and selling your silver coinage to The Happy Coin. Christian from Treasure Town is going to be our videographer and we're going to do this in a question and answer format. So Chris, what exactly are we going to be talking about today? Well, from 1964 and back, all dimes, quarters, and half dollars were 90% silver. So we're talking about 90% silver, or perhaps people refer to it as junk silver, constitutional silver, or coin silver. And why do so many people have this type of silver? Usually uh, people that bring it in, either they themselves saved it when they heard that silver was no longer going to be used in our coinage or their sons and daughters have it and are bringing it in because their parents kept it. Sometimes people uh, who are investing in silver buy coin silver. They usually buy it in bags of uh, say 50, 100, 500 or a thousand dollars face. How do you assess the value of somebody's silver coins? Sure, well it's uh, we, we examine each individual coin and we make sure that we're not dealing with any uh, rare mint, mint mark or date combinations or that we have a coin that's in really good condition that of course we would pay additional money for. Can you show me some examples of some of the silver coins you might see? Sure, so this is a tray of coins that we took in earlier this week. Uh, we have uh, going uh, from this side over we have uh, Mercury Dimes, we have Roosevelt Dimes, we have some Washington Quarters, some Standing Liberty Quarters, uh, I think there's a Barber Quarter in there. Uh, and then with half dollars we have, you know, the, the most common that we see is the 64 Kennedy half dollars. And then going back we have the Franklin halves, we have the Walking Liberty halves, I think there's a Seated Liberty half somewhere in here. Uh, and then we have some Morgan dollars and some Peace dollars. And before you mentioned there were some better mint mark or better date coins, could you give me maybe four examples of coins that might have a better date and mint mark? Sure, that's a good question. So we've searched through all these coins and we know that this is just common silver coinage. But uh, very frequently we'll see uh, in condition a barber dime perhaps that has a full liberty in, uh, in, her, in her headdress, uh, or in her headband rather. We might see a uh, overdate mercury dime, or if we get really lucky, we might see a 1916D mercury dime, which is the key date for the series. Um, with the quarters, most commonly we'll find, uh, you know, a circulated 1932D or a circulated 1932S Washington quarter. And in poor condition, those coins can be worth, you know, 30 40 $50. And then, of course, in, you know, mint state condition, they can be worth... 1500 to 2000 and up. What about the Morgan dollars or peace dollars? Are there any better coins there? Well, in this group, there aren't. Um, th there's a couple of coins that maybe are conditionally a little bit better, but they're all common dates and they're just the kind of coins that, um, you know, they end up going into a bag and, uh, you know, we, we trade them in bags of usually a thousand dollars face. Um, Interestingly, a uh, $1,000 uh, face value of dimes, quarters, and half dollars has 715 ounces of silver in it. So is this the type of item that you're interested in buying at the Happy Coin? Yes, we love buying 90% silver. It often leads to discussions about other things that clients might uh, not realize that we buy also, such as uh, currency or jewelry, diamonds, watches, that kind of thing. 90% silver is a nice way to help somebody put money in their pocket, say for Christmas or for college tuition or to help buy a new car. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. And we encourage you to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I look forward to seeing you on the next recent purchase inventory highlight.